Welcome back, guys. For today, we are going to be reading the Grumpy Monkey. Grumpy Monkey. And that monkey sure does look grumpy. Yeah, he sure looks grumpy on the back, too. Yeah, on the back, too? Yeah. Oh, my man. I don't know if you guys can see this or not, but like he's storming off there. <laughs> So we're going to be reading the Grumpy Monkey today. So let's jump right in. So before I start, what do you think this book is about? A monkey being so grumpy. He's like... <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure. Grumpy. Yes. So the Grumpy Monkey was written by Suzanne Lang. And it was illustrated by Max Lang. One wonderful day, Jim Pansy, <laughs> I see what they did there, woke to discover that nothing was right. The sun was too bright, the sky was too blue, and the bananas were too sweet. Jim was confused. What's going on? Maybe you're grumpy, suggested Norman from next door. I'm not grumpy, Jim insisted. On his walk, he met Marabou. Jim's grumpy, Norman told Marabou. Why are you grumpy, Jim? asked Marabou. It's such a wonderful day. Grumpy? Me? I'm not grumpy. Grumpy, said Jim. But look at how you're standing, Marabou said. It's true, said Norman. You're all hunched. So Jim loosened up. <laughs> look at him. <laughs> then he ran into Lemur. Jim's grumpy. Norman told Lemur. Why are you grumpy, Jim? Asked Lemur. It's such a wonderful day. Grumpy? Me? I'm not grumpy, said Jim. Your eyebrows look grumpy, said Lemur. It's true, said Norman. They're all bunched up. So Jim raised his brow. Then he tripped over Snake. Oh no, said Norman. That's the last thing you need when you're feeling so grumpy. Grumpy? Me? I'm, I'm not, not grumpy, grumpy. <laughs> said Jim. Then why that frown, said Snake. I think it's because he tripped over you, Norman whispered to Snake. So Jim put on a smile. He's like, he's like, he's like, oh. that's a big smile. He's like, oh. look at that smile. Oh my God. Finally, Jim looked happy. <laughs> but he didn't feel happy inside. Everyone wanted Jim to enjoy this wonderful day. You should sing with us, said the birds. Jim didn't feel like singing. Oh my God, look at, it. Look at his face. Oh my God. You should swing with us, said the monkeys. But Jim didn't feel like swinging. Look at this. He's like, yeah, I'm a square. <laughs> You should roll with us, said the zebras. Jim didn't feel like rolling. He's like, hmm, I don't want to roll. I know, poor thing. You should stroll with us, said the peacocks. Jim didn't feel like strolling. What the shit? You should lie in the grass. You should stomp your feet. <laughs> you should take a bath. Make a splash. You should hug someone. You should laugh. You should take a nap. 
you should eat old meat or some honey. You should jump up and down. You should sit in the sun. You should dance. <laughs> but Jim didn't feel like doing any of that. Why are you grumpy, Jim? asked the others. It's such a wonderful day. I'm not grumpy! <laughs> shouted Jim as he beat his chest. And he stormed off. Oh, poor thing. It's like the back of the book. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Jim felt sorry. A little sorry for shouting at everyone, but mostly sorry for himself. I guess I am grumpy, Jim sighed. And just as he was starting to feel really sad, oh, look at his face, he came upon Norman. Norman was slumped. His eyebrows were bunched up, and he was frowning. What's the matter? Are you grumpy? asked Jim. No, I danced with porcupine, said Norman. Uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> Are you okay? asked Jim. It hurts, but I'll probably feel better soon enough, said what Norman. I know. Are you still grumpy? Yes, said Jim, but I'll probably feel better soon enough too. For now, I need to be grumpy. It's a wonderful day to be grumpy, said Norman. Jim agreed. And he already felt a little bit better. No, he has a, no, he has a real smile. Oh. The end. So, what did you get from this book, Papa? That he was so grumpy, he didn't want to do anything. Uh huh. But and then he cried. And? And then he felt happy. He felt happy? Okay. I love this book. Oh my gosh. It definitely teaches little ones that it's okay sometimes to be in a bad mood. So oftentimes, um, especially little ones, um, even adults, we feel like it's our responsibility to make the other person happy. And we think that by suggesting things that would make ourselves happy, that we are in turn helping the person who is sad. And sometimes people just wanna be left alone. So I think this is a great way to uh, teach that little lesson to young ones because sometimes you just want to be grumpy sometimes it's just you know you're in a bad mood and you don't even know why and you just want to be around someone that won't tell you what to do someone that just wants to listen you know sometimes you just want to be around someone else who's just not in the best of mood not a bunch of happy people who are loud and singing and dancing and doing all the other stuff like what the other animals were doing so I absolutely love this book for little ones. I recommend it, definitely. I like the book too, Mama. <laughs> we hope that you also enjoyed The Grumpy Monkey with us. Remember to tune in every Monday. We have story time with Cristiano. Stay tuned for next week. If, if you, you like this video, video please, please remember, remember to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for reading with us. Bye bye. bye, -bye. And we're out. <laughs>